Hello and welcome to Ramp Up for Star Citizen. I got a surprise for you today. Let's get inside and check it out. Hello everybody and welcome to Geek Domo. All right, what we're gonna do is I'm going to take you on a tour of my brand new ship, the Misk Freelancer. Yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> All right. So this is gonna be a quick little episode of ramp up. I just wanted to cover like, my new ship, talk a little bit about it, give you a little bit of a tour. All right. So prior to this, I had the 300i, which is a great ship, but it's kind of small. It's a little bit like flying around in a uh, Mercedes Benz 300 series. So anyway, it's a uh, nice ship. I really liked it, but it didn't have long range and it didn't kind of do what I wanted. I, I kind of wanted to become more of an explorer. So I was like, ah, I can sit in this ship for so long and it was so tight. Even when I was in the little cargo area, it was like really tiny. I was scrunched over. I had been reading on the forums that you can do what they call melt down your ship. And what they mean is you take your ship and you refund it back from Robert Space Industries or Cloud Imperium Games, whatever you want to call it. They will refund the ship back to you. So you say, I want the money back. It's a little triangle on the website and, and uh, I can maybe show you a screenshot real quick now to show you what I'm talking about. Anyway, so it's a little triangle. You click that and you say refund my thing. They can only do it once every 24 hours. So I'll tell you a little bit about a funny little tale that happened when I did this this morning. So I said, okay, I cannot afford to buy this ship right now, but I already bought the other ship. So is there a way that I could take that money and turn it into a refund so that I could then add just a few more bucks to buy this one? So that's what I did. I melted down the other ship and I was like, okay, I'm all excited. I ran over and I bought the Freelancer. Unfortunately, I forgot that I had bought a whole package before I had bought the Bounty Hunter package. So when I bought the Bounty Hunter package, I got the 300i plus the hangar and the early alpha access and all the other things. When I went and just bought this ship, I just bought the ship. I had no access to anything. And it was only like a couple dollars more to buy the package, but I was in such a hurry and so excited that I had bought the wrong one. So here we are. So here's what had happened. I wrote to the customer support people. I said, hey guys, I screwed up. Can you fix this? And I thought it's gonna be a week or two before they get back to me and the 24 hour thing will have restarted. So I, it's all moot. But they got back to me fairly quickly and said, sure, I refunded that money back to you and now you can go in and do it. So I went in and did it, added a couple extra bucks to get the package. And here I am standing in my brand new hangar, looking at my brand new Freelancer. Needs a better paint job, but other than that, I'm excited, as you can tell. So let's go ahead and take a bit of a tour. Do, 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 do. This is a new business hangar too, by the way. It has four walls. I'm really excited about that and a ceiling and a floor. The uh, other hangar that I was in before was missing this left wall. You know, it was an economy hangar, so they were really, really economy. All right, so let's go ahead and have a look at the ship. Up front here, these are our thrusters. There's one of my turrets. There's the one of the sets of guns on the right and left side of the ship. And these are my missiles under the wing there. And I believe that's the engine intake. It might be a set of guns. I don't know, I haven't seen any detailed specs to tell me exactly what every single thing is, but we'll get to there. Uh, unfortunately for tall people, you have to duck. Going under here, and you look up, got my use thing. There we go. Something, it's a bit buggy. They're, they're working out the bugs, but... Um, and so this is... What looks to me to be... It's a, it's a hang... It's a cargo hold for sure. And I'm guessing that is a... Uh, a weight... A sit, like a, a dolly crane that you can put things on. It's pretty stark in here. I need some... Some exciting stuff. But, but yeah, so there's some lights. Uh, the dolly crane moving stuff around inside the hangar. We'll go backwards first before we go forwards. And this is my big cargo hold. So I can hold up to 20 tons of cargo in this hold here. That's pretty cool. I uh, don't know where that ladder goes to. It's on a ladder to nowhere. Uh, and then back here we have another turret. I guess you have to kind of climb up the wall here to get to. Even if I line it up and say use, I don't think you can... No, it opens the back door. I just got the ship. This is the first time I've been in it. So, this is the first tour we're going to do of it. So, very cool. Loading ramp. Very nice. It, it's a bit steep. I need to work on that a little bit. But other than that, very cool. It's really good for... Um, that's my dog, Otis, snoring. He's a pug. He has no nose. Uh, 
Get in there. Okay. All right, so that's uh, the loading area. Can haul a lot of cargo back here. Lot of cargo. And you can turn it into a nice little disco room. The disco ball. Okay, uh, so now we're going to move ahead. And here this appears to be a environmental system. Probably you can... This bulkhead closes off, I'm guessing. I'm guessing this bulkhead closes, which would be airtight. Makes sense. That's probably where these steps probably fold down there. And then the bulkhead closes off, so you'd have to have a separate environmental controls for in here. Oh, you know, you could transport prisoners in this thing, too. All right. Moving up. We have a nice, lovely sink and a mirror. So much bigger than the 300i, isn't it? Um, look at that. I got a potty. I got a space potty. I didn't have that in my other ship. And apparently, this is not just a space potty. It is also a shower. And some kind of holographic thing that can hide your boobies from the world. It's so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, more environment. Wow! More more environmental controls over here. Very nice. Some department bins. You know, I was in the Navy. And everything has to be secure for sea. So that's what they're doing up here. Lovely overhead compartments. Things may have shifted during flight. So you want to make sure you don't open that up on your head. Cool. And look at this. I have four bunks. I have one, two, three, four. I believe the max crew in this is just two. So I'm guessing you might have passengers or maybe pick up a friend. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Very nice. Okay, so this is sort of like the... Uh, just we can sort of watch what's going on back here. Maybe control the weapon systems. Those other two turrets. And then now we reach the cockpit, which is where I'll be spending a lot of time. And look here, this is uh, the very nice. They, they make this really nice conduit with all the stuff going in, and then they just have the cord coming out. You guys were lazy over it, Misk. You need to fix that. And then this must be some sort of fire suppression system or another conduit. Okay, very cool. And here we have the cockpit controls. There is the joy the not really a joystick. Let's sit down. Let's use it. Oh boy. I'm sitting in my space bus. Sitting up here, I cannot help but sing the theme song to Firefly in my head. Very cool. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. And I can't pew pew. So yeah, that is the interior of the Misk Freelancer. Very, very exciting. Go ahead and run out here and check out some ads for join the UEE Marines or the Alliance StarTech. More stuff for my ship. Definitely want to upgrade at some point. All right, everybody. So I guess that's it. Very, very excited. And so the, pro the procedure for changing your ship over if you bought another ship, a smaller ship, and you want to upgrade. That's probably the way most people will do this. I think by the time in two years comes around, I might have worked my way all the way up to some mega big awesome Wowie ship by then. Who knows? Because you can just upgrade your thing by paying a few more bucks. You get a ship that you probably couldn't have afforded right off the bat. Have a look at the, uh, the ship here. Oh, we can probably look at the weapons and figure that out a little bit better. So, okay, those side guns are the Bearing Mark VI laser. We come back. Good range, medium power, damage is kind of low. Hmm. Well, something I'm definitely gonna upgrade at some point down the road. That's not mentioning those missiles. Oh, that's a, that's the, um, okay, gun turret, I'm guessing. Let's check out the power system in this big boat. No, it's not. Some of the ships are, remember, this is all beta. They weren't even turning, this, this thing here. 
uh, the hollow emitter. It wasn't even supposed to work. They ended up uh, they ended up turning it on early, and they weren't expecting it even to be in there. So the fact that you can even turn things around and have a look at your stuff on here is kind of cool. The 300i actually worked a bit better here as far as everything being able to be seen. Oh, it really made everything dark. Holy, can I turn that off? The whole room got dark. Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's cool. Turn off the lights in the whole building. Neat. Alright, I'm gonna run around here for a little while and play some more with my new ship, which I can't take anywhere, but I can at least walk around and go, yes! This is where I'm gonna put up my disco ball, and back here is where we're gonna have the, uh, the bead curtain, you know, right in here. Definitely have a sound system in this room. It probably echoes like crazy. Very, very neat. Very cool. I'm excited. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. This has been Geek Domo. Until next time, saying... <gasps> See ya!